Hey there, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. We're gonna work on this third folder and two options on video effects, which are corner pin and lens distortion. So let's uh, see what happens if we wanna work with these two effects. Uh, we just got out of the colors and the color corrections or lumetric color or different kinds of color stuff. So now we are into uh, something related to the video and the clips. Let me bring a uh, corner pin to the video to see what happens so first of all let me show you something I have already made another video for this how to render the area if something like a red color happens in this bar so what you should do if you're bringing different kinds of effects or um, some movements or some actions are done on your clip so this color this bar is actually changed to something like yellow and red and it shows you that maybe you do not see this area as a rendered place so the best action for that is this for example if you want to make this area visible you can come for example here and press I on your keyboard which is for in and then you can come for example here and press O for out because I want to have this area this period of time visible for myself and render it so that uh, I don't want to have this red color and easily I just come to sequence and in sequence we have something like render uh, work area do not choose re render entire work area because it will be time consuming and it will render all your sequence period of time from the beginning to the end but I'm not gonna do that this is time consuming and then you can easily come to render effects in work area and if you press that you can see this is rendering my area so I'm not gonna do that uh, you can easily again come to this part and reduce the quality of your preview to these two amounts and it depends on your computer and what kind of system you're using so let's go back to the corner pin when I brought it on my clip I see something like a corner pin uh, is added to the source panel and then I can easily see if I play with these numbers what happens so it actually pins the corners from a very specific area to another specific area for example normally you can see the corners are like this let me make it a bit bigger so normally you can see nothing has just happened because all these numbers are zero. Let's just change upper left. I mean change the pin, uh, for example, upper left pin to another number. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, if I do such a thing, it is changing the upper left pin to another number, which is 251. And you can just do such a thing from top side. And then as you can see, the picture is changed like this. So how you can use that in your clips or your video? This is easy and it could be something useful for you if you want to advertise something, if you want to show a very beautiful effect for your uh, video. You can easily bring such a kind of picture for yourself or even something like a video. And as you can see, uh, behind my video or behind the clip, I have the second one that I've brought. And then you can easily fit your video into this green area because as you can see this video is not located normally in here for example imagine I come here and I make my video a bit smaller so if I put everything back to default as you can see this is not possible to normally fit this video into this green screen so easily you can do that by this desert uh, option in video effects so let's just change this number to see what happens if we want to fit this video into this green area. Okay, that's it. So it was a bit time consuming to understand what fits this area better, but this is the number that I uh, found useful and suitable for that green area. So if you want to change the size of your video in this way, for example, as you can see, I can change the size of video like this. If you have this box checked, it will be something like that. It will be somehow uh, messy and disorganized. So it's better to uncheck it and then you can see you can change your video size in any way that you want in any case that is desirable for you okay so as you can see i have just fit that into this uh, green screen so if i go back to the beginning of the video as you can see the video is playing on a kind of advertising screen or advertising billboard into a city you can bring 
uh, different other kinds of videos or even you can work that on a kind of place like this even and then you can adjust it for this green screen in this part so it's up to you it depends on the background that you're gonna bring behind your video or your clip so this is easily possible to change all these numbers Th this is the number that I understood that I got from upper left upper right lower left and lower right if you play with the uh, numbers you can see we will get such kind of a shape but even I can work more to get a better margin for the video for example I can have as you can see this margin is a bit bigger and this margin is a bit smaller so I can come to the for example uh, upper right which is this and I do such a thing as you can see uh, somehow this is balanced in here and I come for example to the uh, lower right for example again and as you can see I can handle it in this way I can go back to upper right and somehow like this decrease this amount so I just got a kind of balanced way on the billboard uh, by just playing the numbers you should just easily find the corners as you can see they are all addressed in here you can go to upper left upper right sometimes this is confusing but that can easily be adjusted like this okay now I have uh, brought everything back to the default setting to normal as they were before and we are gonna bring the lens distortion on the video to see what happens so as you can see we have something like vertical decentering and horizontal decentering vertical prism fx horizontal prism fx and then you can see if i play with them what happens it gives you a kind of funny shape to your videos and you can somehow uh, use them as you can see it will be somehow funny and uh, you can make your video somehow effective like this it depends on you if you want to have such kind of uh, shape or funny videos like this uh, you can easily have that as you can see the second layer is not visible because this box is checked if I take it again you can see my background is somehow changed to um, transparent actually this clip this video is changed to transparent so that I can see whatever is behind this video and if I check this box back then everything is white even you can give a color the background is white you can easily change it for example to something like yellow and then this happens you can make it funny like this or you can easily make a kind of video like this and then write something funny around it or add some cartoon elements around it you can easily download all those cartoon things or some beautiful things from cryptostudium.com uh, we have added I think some uh, after effect features after effect templates into the site as well so if you are out of the time and if you don't have enough time to design all those things for yourself you can go to cryptostudium.com and download any other uh, kinds of template that you want for your video just you need to search whatever you want for YouTube for cartoon for titles anything you want can be easily searched in there so you can make such a video like this if I play that you can see my shape is somehow changed to a kind of funny way and as you can see uh, it could be used to make fun videos and type something behind it or even you can add some other videos behind it easily by unchecking this box and something could be added and even you can give a kind of old TV shape for that and something again funny could be happened inside of this uh, clip so that was it for today it was uh, this third folder video effects if there is any question you can easily ask me in the comments or if you have any idea you can do that as well uh, please subscribe my channel and like the video if possible if you really like it and don't forget to hit the notification button I will see you in the next video for continuing other video effects into the distort folder thanks for joining crypto studio see you later Thank you.